Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where I'm still a little bit salty about that, uh, about that look. But, I mean, honestly, it happens. I'm not too concerned about it. We're going to tick forward at least the four days for drive repairs here. So let's tick forward. There's our drive repairs done. And let's hop into here. And we definitely, definitely want to grab this drop weight limit increase. That's 50 additional tons. That's a big deal for us right now. And how long will that actually take? Six days. Okay, what does the next one require? That's fine. That's completely fine. Okay, I think we tick forward all six days. We are so heavily limited by that weight limit right now that I think it's worth it. That also gets all of our mechs done, and all of our mech warriors, except the one that we lost, back. So we can hop in here, see if we need any training. Let's just go through here real quickly. Actually, Kraken can get a point of gunnery. That is fantastic. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Sure. Now, I am going to hop into the hiring hall here, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Yeah... I don't like their trainings, so we're not going to hire either of these. Well, Sorcerer has evasive pips are immune to sensor lock. I think I'd still rather have Bandit for a vehicle pilot. So we'll hold off on that. In the meantime, we are now pretty much ready to deploy, but I'm going to go ahead and grab ourselves a second drop weight limit. We're not going to wait for this one to finish, but I definitely want to get started on that. We're going to need... Refit harness, which we've already got. Yeah, we're going to keep working on drop tonnage for a little while for sure. Now, bankruptcy is projected. Sure, not by much. We're going to need to go ahead and deploy. This is an assassinate mission. Not great salvage, but decent pay. This one, however, slightly less pay. Far better salvage. Hmm, anything else good? Oh, this one's... This one's tempting. It is, however, a Lance Tonnage Maximum and a Blackout. Which means that's a long mission. It's a little bit spooky. I think we'll hold off on that for now. I think what we'll run is this assassination. This is not a double priority salvage, but for five non-priority and a regular priority, is that worth 217k? I don't think so. I think we'll run this straight down the middle. Okay, so we're definitely going to want to deploy the Jaeger here. That puts us right there at 400 tons. We have nobody, of course, who is skilled at the Jaeger. We want just somebody with good gunnery. Honestly, Tactician might be good as well, right? Because the Jaeger is running those uh, dual Gauss. So El Duce might not be a terrible idea for that. We'll toss him in there. And then I do want to run the Hunchback with Adrenaline. And Nidhogg, J. Edgar, Maxim Striker, and Harasser. That's all fine. And then we have, what, 50 additional tons that we can drop? If we did this, it wouldn't work because it must be less than 450 tons. Okay, so we've still got a couple of empty slots here, but we can still bring a chameleon, and who do we want to bring in the chameleon? Perhaps Blaze? Uh, Blaze doesn't really have the skills for it. Do we have anybody who has... Ooh, yes, Arya Maki has some chameleon skills. Otherwise, I think this is great, and we run this as is. This Jaeger can sit back and plink away with those Gausses. Should, in theory, do quite a lot of damage. Assuming we can hit. <laughs> the Guillotine is more of a mid-range engager, and the Archer will stay back with the Jaeger and fire support. Okay. Yes, I'm aware... Chameleon d doesn't have Magshot. Oh, we're running the wrong Chameleon, aren't we? We're going to... Noted that we're going to need to change this Chameleon's... Magshot. So one of these has a Magshot on it. We'll deal with that after this mission, if I remember. Okay. 
Those mag shots, we just, we don't have ammo for them. They were great back when they had the built-in ammo, but that nerf was probably needed. In all honesty. But because we don't have any ammo for the mag shot, that of course means there's nothing that we can do to run those. Like, it's just a waste of a ton and a ballistic slot. Not really anything else to be said there. Just needs to get taken off. So the question is, how many enemies are we going to be up against? The answer is probably a lot. We need to destroy the target and escape. Our intelligence operatives believe that a local government leader is present and vulnerable on the surface of Bell. Eliminating them will leave their organization in shambles and clear the field for Davian operations. The target will be relatively unguarded, and we'd like you to strike during this window of opportunity. Sounds like we'll be hitting a middle manager. The target won't be alone, Commander, and there's a bonus for the escort lance. Okay, thanks, Darius. Okay, only lightly guarded, huh? Up over there. Okay, where can we deploy? We could deploy here. We have perhaps a... Is this a mineral field? Yeah, this is a mineral field. We have a mineral field for cover here. We can make for these woods, engage them up over here, close up with the road. I don't hate this location. We've got multiple cover options. I think it's okay. Yeah, that tends to happen. Okay, so we don't see any enemies currently. The target unit is over here. The supporting forces are up on this cliff, apparently. Okay, so who can we move? We can move our Nidhogg. Sure. We see a Hades. Noted that we can actually fire on. I'll pot shot it with the snub nose. Got it. I didn't expect much. No luck. Okay, phase 22. That's just a little locust. Sure. Okay. I want to reserve at least to phase 19 here so that the Hades moves. Okay, we'll see what he does. Okay. Misses everything on the Nidhogg. That's a lot of heat buildup. Noted. This Locust has five evasive pips. And it's actually only got the one machine gun ammo. Okay. We can take our Hunchback over this way. 10%. 12%. We're going to go for the Locust for now. On I'm not surprised that we missed, but I'm still Target. reasonably okay with that decision. The chances weren't very different, and those lasers would do a lot more to a Locust. What do you need? Okay, our guillotine will step up to here. On it. And the guillotine is probably also going to go for the Locust here. Because I want to deal with the Hades with the vehicles. Oh, we hit something. Okay. Mostly our SRMs. <laughs> Sounds good. I was hopeful that that would make him unsteady, but unfortunately, that's not the case. The chameleon will move in over here. And it will also go for that locust. Okay, we hit nothing. I'm not super shocked by that. We're mostly closing in this turn. And we don't know what else they have up on this ridge. So that's I'm definitely ready. something to be considering. We're going to position the archer. Ooh, look at that ideal range bracket. We're going to position the archer here for the ideal range bracket. Now the question is, do we dead fire this? No, we don't is the answer. Roger that. Okay, that's a torso destruction. Ooh, that hit something good. He's still not unsteady, which surprises me a little bit, but okay. Yep. The Jaeger 
Kim position up over here. Or do we want to get a little bit closer? Hmm. I don't think we I don't think we want to sprint this. I think we'll position the Jaeger here. And we'll look at, at just lighting this guy up with the Gauss rifles. If we hit, this is going to do a lot of damage. I don't think we'll hit. Okay, we did hit one of those. Scored a critical hit. That is one dead locust. Not dead yet, but it will be very soon. Now the J. Edgar is going to come around over this way. I'm not going to put it in that rear arc position because there's only one rear arc position available. So we're going to move the J. Edgar to here. Let's go. And we're going to look to heat this guy up in his side flank. Roger. We didn't succeed, but that's okay. No luck. Next, the harasser is also going to come over here and look to heat him up in his side target. flank. Full speed, no target. Fire in. And we didn't hit any of those either. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. When does our Maxim move? Phase 13? Okay, so after they're done with this move, wherever that is. Okay, that's what? An LRM 15, maybe? I'm showing minor damage. Waiting for orders. That's fine. We're going to move the Maxim over to here. This is also in side arc. We're going to fire on this guy, but we're going to use the Inferno SRMs here to try to get his heat higher, since we haven't hit him with any other flamers yet. Okay. Nice. Okay, we see a Frankie moving up there, as well as a PO heavy tank. Aye, aye. The Jaeger is going to stay put, and it is going to finish this Locust. This Locust is totally dead. There we go. Target eliminated. Wonderful. The Hades backs off. Tries to fire on the harasser, misses everything, heats himself up. And that is a failed shutdown override. Now, I don't think we can get vehicles in behind him because of his positioning, but that doesn't matter. He shut himself down. We have very, very good hit odds here. Excellent. That's a structure exposure right where we wanted it to be. The Chameleon will also close in over here. Same point. Okay, I don't think we actually hit that location, which is sad, but that's fine. The Nidhogg is actually going to come up and engage over here. Now, we do see that there's a Maxim AP APC over there. We're going to sprint up this direction and look to go for that Frankie. No shooting, just running. Got it. Are we out of range for the bomb racks? Yes, we are, but we can fire the rocket packs, and we're going to go for that. Okay, that's fine. I'm receiving you. Now, the harasser can just get into this side arc. That's okay. For an alpha strike. This poor Hades. He's at the heat cap currently. Yeah. The guillotine will close in. I'll do what I can. And we will look to continue to take this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and fire the Boltons and not the ERPPC here, just for heat purposes. He's very close to dead. Scored a critical hit. SRMs are out. He doesn't move until phase 12. They actually hit that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that Hades is super close to dead. Phase 15, probably this guy. Yeah, the Maxim H APC. That's a lot of missiles. That's fine. We're going to engage them with our vehicles in a little bit. Firing on the Jaeger. The Jaeger's armor can take that. What else do you got? You're going to ace pilot. I know you're going to ace pilot. Where to? Here would be ideal for us. But he's probably going to back off if he's smart. Yeah. That's pretty much what I expected to have happen. We're going to position the archer here. 
The question is, do we go for any of these guys via indirect fire, or do we just go for the kill on the Hades? And I think we just go for the kill. There we go. Target eliminated. Enemy down. Excellent. Let's wrap up the uh, kills on the supporting units. We're going to move up to here. We can't move through the rough terrain super quickly, but that's okay. We can pot shot this with our medium laser. May as well. No point in not rolling that. We're actually going to have to go through this to get to the evac anyway. That's a little awkward. The Maxim can't make it all the way up here yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Receiving you. The Jaeger can get LOS. It's obstructed LOS. But it's LOS nonetheless. We'll roll this. We've got plenty of Gauss ammo. Okay, two misses. That's fine. No luck. Ready for orders. The Hunchy will turn around and start heading up this road. Yes, boss. The Chameleon will do the same. Okay. Who moves next? It is the Frankie. He just backed off. Fair enough. I don't blame him for making that call. We can't quite move the Harasser all the way up the rough terrain either. That's okay. Next round we can. The J. Edgar is going to move in and probably start working on the heavy tank, honestly. Although this is rear arc on the Frankie. But we're still going to move over to this side. This is not rear arc on the heavy tank, but I'm moving over here because I want this area to be clear for bombs. Okay, a little bit of damage on that heavy tank. Ideal. Yep. The guillotine is going to head over this way and sink some heat. And the archer is going to step this way. And the All question way. is, what are hit odds like? 1.5, 6.9, 6.9. We're going to fire on the Frankie since that's rear arc. Okay, 10 rear arc damage. We'll take that. Now, the Nidhogg is going to make its way up over to here. On it. And this is a fantastic position to be in. We're going to drop those bomb racks right on his rear arc. This poor guy. <laughs> we missed the snub nose PPC, but even so, that is some devastating rear arc damage. They're going to take some burn damage when they ace pilot out of that fire. Okay, that's completely fine. It'll be a little bit difficult for us to get up here with our other vehicles, I think. And they're firing on the Jaeger. Sure, the Jaeger can take that. This armor is completely fine. I'd love it if this APC would move back into the open. I doubt it will, though. That would be a horrible misplay on their part. It won't change anything. It would just make it easier on us. Okay, we're going to make our way up to here with the Maxim. As expected, we can't make it all the way up due to that rough terrain. Yes, Commander. The Chameleon will continue moving up the road. Excellent. The Archer will step forward over here. Now, this is still rear arc on the Frankie, but that's still only 0.9% hit odds. And I think that we're much, much better off firing on the heavy tank. Given that that's 10 times more likely to hit. And we still only got the one hit. What do you need? The guillotine will continue to move up the road. All right. Who do we got next? The J. Edgar. Sure. I'd like the J. Edgar to move into rear arc of the PO heavy tank. And let's hit that rear armor. That is some thick rear armor, though. Okay. That's going to be difficult. The Nidhogg has to move to somewhere like here. Which is unfortunate, because this means that it will damage itself with these bombs, I think. But that's okay. 
Hit. Frankie is definitely not feeling so great. The Hunchy will come up over this way. Just straight up that road. Phase 18. That is their PO heavy tank. Oh no! They machine gunned the Nidhog. We don't care. <laughs> that is irrelevant to us. Heavy tank taking burn damage there. I like it. Commander? The harasser can just make it up here. I'm going to position here. All right, let's move. And we're going to hit the side arc of the Frankie with our standard flamers. It's not necessarily ideal. Target locked. But we'll go for it. 20 heat there. Good sure. The Jaeger, I don't think, has LOS on anything. Nah. On the move. We'll just start move. trying to acquire an LOS. Okay, phase 15. That's the Frankie. I'm not surprised that it went for the J. Edgar. That's what I would have done there, too. Only one evasive pip. Standing by. Okay, now the Frankie is toast. The Maxim comes in behind it. Hitter me there. And we're not going to use Inferno LRMs. We're going to use standard LRMs here. This thing is so dead. Like, it has what one HP. Goodbye. Fantastic. Got okay, round 13. That'll be, I think, this guy. Yeah, the Maxim. See where he goes? Looks like he's engaging over on this flank. I'm okay with that. Okay, who moves? Standing the Chameleon. Line. We're going to sprint over this way. Full speed. No target. Most of our mechs are covering an exit that they're not utilizing, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we're just going to move up to here and continue to close in. Commander. Yeah, a Jaeger, it just, it has no targets right now. Confirm. Which makes me sad, but it's a very effective mech, there's no doubt about that. Commander. The Nidhogg is going to come over here and hit the Maxim. We can only hit it side arc, it looks like, and this is going to be just out of bomb range. But that's okay. Roger. That was pretty good, actually. We'll take that. Okay. They're shooting at the Nidhogg. Its armor is fine. Minimal damage on that, hit. that is not a concern. And the PO is probably going to move through fire. Yes, indeed. Burn damage. Receiving you. Very nice. Now we're going to have to move through fire to get in here as well. I'm going to position there. And we're going to heat him right on up. Okay, we're going to miss our flamers, but we hit the laser. Yeah. The guillotine can come up the road. Bugging out. Excellent. And now it's going to be the Maxim APC moving. We'll see where he decides to go. Probably going to stay in that mineral field, if I had to guess. Just keep lobbing LRMs at the Jaeger. Where are you going to ace pilot, buddy? Well? Any plans? Okay, interesting choice. He moved just out of the mineral field. Not what I would have done, to be sure. The archer is going to position up over here. Now, this is rear arc on the heavy tank. And we are going to try to exploit that. That was a reasonable damage spread, actually, given the hit odds. Yes, Commander. The Harasser is going to come in to the rear arc here. And this could very easily finish this guy off. The Harasser does so much to vehicles. Confirmed. There we go. Frag the vehicle. Excellent. Yes. Now it's the Maxim's turn to move. And the best we can do, pretty much... It's coming up to here. Copy Next that. round, it'll be in position to attack the Maxim if the Nidhogg doesn't kill it. Orders. Let's see, which is the... The front is actually its weak side. Noted. Confirmed. Finish him off. Firing. And there we go. 
Well, that was easy. Mission successful. Now the question is, do we get any halfway decent salvage? Probably not, other than perhaps the Hades, although I think we did quite a bit of damage to it, so we're probably not going to get many parts from that. Decent pay, though, and we took very little damage. Yeah, we could grab this Hades part. Three heavy tank parts. Okay, I think we'll hold off on that, though. Four ER medium lasers. That's a pretty good salvage there. Hmm. This is an advanced targeting computer clan. Grants breaching shot. When firing a single weapon, it ignores cover and guarded. Okay, so that works the same as in the base game. Improves offensive push accuracy. That's nice. I mean, that's always so bad that I just don't even bother. <laughs> hmm. On the other hand... We could grab two clan double heat sinks. Which we do have a clan heat sink kit. I think we'll do that. And maybe we get the targeting in the roulette, hopefully, but we'll see. I don't need those SRMs. This armor, irrelevant. Basic cockpits, pass. We'll keep the ECM. Omnipod lower arm. We'll keep that around as well. Five sensor basics and a saved MG ammo. Sure, we'll keep that. Sad that we did not get that targeting computer, but okay, we'll take that. How much do we think it's going to cost to repair? Not much. Maybe like 12k and four days is my estimation. We'll see what Yang thinks. But that's my... That, that's my estimation. I'm probably wrong. I usually am. Okay. What do you got for us, Yang? 8k in two days. Not too far off. Not too far off indeed. So, yeah, that'll take a total of two days. That is completely fine. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode we are going to see about further increasing our weight limit. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.